Meek Zoom Lock. The 10-second flame-free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame, and no fire spotter. Discover how ZoomLock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit ZoomLock.com for more information. Guys, we're going to do a little meter comparing today. I took out one of the ACD 14 Pros out of the box. Have it up here. So that's okay. And we can turn on a specific amp measurement. We're going to take amps. We can take it off this wire right here. We take voltage from the contactor over here. So first thing we're going to do is we can note that we have 0.67 amps, 0.68 right in there. And we hit the other button. It's pinpointed to the tip of the clamp here. We can see we have about the same thing, 0 0.69, 0 0.68. Didn't change much. So let's see what we have as far as voltage. And this is nice because you can see them both on the screen here. Two forty-three point seven. All right, let's get another meter up here. We'll compare what we get on the Testo. It auto ranges to DC because we're below three amps, so it doesn't pick it up. So if you want to select AC amps, you're going to hit the select button, and then you can see we have 0.8. So it's about 0.12 higher than the amp probe with the pinpoint measurement. So it says 0.8. So let's change up to voltage. It will auto select there too as well, or it should. Let's put them up there. We have 244.2. So let's get our next meter up there and compare with that one. We have the field P660 here. We're running about 0.7 amps, so just slightly higher than the amp probe, but lower than the Testo, which was at 0.8. So the Testo has been the highest so far. All the other meters are pretty much in line. Let's go ahead and take a voltage measurement, which is kind of nice because they're both on the same screen like the amp probe. Yeah. 245.6 and 0.67 amps now. interesting it looks like they affect each other very interesting so let's try that again interesting okay but well, it's kind of interesting how that affects each other and they change readings let's see To investigate that a little bit more see why that is we have the Southwire 23070T which is at 0.64 so a little bit less than the other meters has a higher range too but if you put it on a thousand you get squat so you have to put it on the lower setting and then you get your 0.63 put our leads in we have to change our up to volts here's the volts DC Volts AC there, so we got on volts AC. Let's set it up. Two hundred and forty-four point eight. So voltage is all within a volt or so of every meter. The amperage is really kind of all across the board. Let's try the compressor load and see if that gets any closer. So right now, the Testo is the farthest to the top at 0.8. Everything else is ranging from like 0.6364 here all the way up to right around 0.7 with the field piece. So the Testo is kind of out of the group, but let's just check it under a different condition. With the south wire meter, we're at about 10.3 amps on the compressor. We won't do the voltage again because we already did that. We'll check the other amp meters and let's see how they work. The field P660 is right about 10.4 amps, so slightly higher, about 0.1 amps higher than the south wire. Let's see if it'll recognize it on the higher amp setting. I didn't try that on the south wire. Let's 
it does goes to 10.8 however I forgot to try this one on the first batch because I set it on top of the SC57 we're at 10.1 so it's a little bit lower than the previous meter so the south wire has been 10.3 field piece 10.4 to 10.8 and the SC57 is 10.1 the Amp Probe ACD14 Pro has it sitting right there in the little notch up there. It's in pinpoint mode and it's 10, let's see, 10.55, 5, 5, Let's take pinpoint mode off, see if it changes. Goes all the way down to 10.3. So the Amp Probe may be the most accurate at 10.5 because it does have the pinpoint mode which raises it up a little bit. And as you can see, when we take it off pinpoint mode, it's like all the other meters. I used a broad clamp to measure the amperage. The Testo is in there now. It's using the auto ranging feature to detect AC amperage because it's above 3 amps. We're at 10.5, so right about 10.4, 10.5, right in there where the ACD14 Pro was. So perhaps this is more of a sweet spot for the Testo because it closely matches up with the ACD14 Pro, which has the pinpoint selection on the amp clamp. Of course, we don't have an exact amp measure. We're going off these different groups of meters here. But since the ACD14 Pro does have an exact pinpoint mode, that is the most likely correct amperage, which puts the Testo really close. The farthest off would be the, I guess, the SC660 in the broad mode. The 400 amp mode puts it up high. And then the south wire was a little bit lower at 10.3. All of them relatively close except for the field piece and in the lower amperages all of them were pretty close except for the testo. One more thing I will say about these particular meters is that one of the advantages I like first of all the field piece two of these meters have a swivel head which is kind of nice because no matter which way because you know if you were in here like this it'd be facing downward if you couldn't swivel it around so it's kind of nice to be able to swivel it however you want to to get it in there. Both the field pieces have that. Amp Probe does make one that does that, but not the ACD14 Pro. Also, this one has a magnet, SC660, and none of the others have a magnet. The amp clamps on the field piece meters are smaller, the actual clamps themselves, and the little button to open them is pretty close, which might be a little bit tighter as far as getting your hands into somewhere, putting your hands in closer to where you're measuring. The south wire gives you a little bit more comfort area in between the wiring and the meter, as does the ACD14 Pro. The Testo has, I guess, the most innovative clamp because it has a little detractable clamp. And as you can see, it works kind of differently. It's kind of nice. Um, really easy to get stuff in there. You know, you can just detract, hook, let it go, which is kind of nice. The SC660 and the ACD14 Pro both have dual line displays so you can see amperage and volts at the same time which is kind of nice. The, the Testo 770-3 is the only one that has watts in this particular group which is kind of nice. So overall all the meters have their good points. I disqualify the Testo because of the auto ranging. I, I just dislike that very much. I do not like that at all. I've always used the field piece stuff. The SC57 is a good meter. Both of these meters have uh, wireless capabilities. You can use some of the field piece older wireless stuff with them. And with the 660, you can use the job link. The SC57, I don't think, is going to be made any longer. So you really won't be able to get this one. But this one is still made, of course. This is their new flagship meter. Uh, the south wire miss is missing microamps. But other than that, it's a rugged, tough meter. No problems with it. ACD14 Pro is a lightweight, general purpose, not a ton of different features on it, but pretty much everything HVAC guys need on a normal everyday basis. It's a little bit smaller and cheaper than the other ones, but I really, really like this particular meter. So, there you got it guys. We have the ACD14 Pro 23070T Maintenance Pro, Field P660, SC660, Field piece SC57, the Testo 770 3.